What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, looking to mess with my messed up mohawk. Yeah, it's all left over from the weekend. I went and flew a plane today, man. If you want to hear me talk about the plane experience, check out the Shardimus Wank channel. There should be a video up there very soon. I flew a plane, I flew a plane, I flew a plane due to the lovely Charlotte One's anniversary gift to me. I always wanted to fly. I always just dreamt, dreamt of flying. And I flew a freaking plane. And it was terrifying! Oh my god, dude. 20, like 25 mile per hour winds. Knocking the plane around. The thing's just a tiny little shell, dude. Anyway, talk more about it. Other channel. X-Men. Alright. Not a whole lot of new stuff, though there is some new stuff. And spoilers, if, I mean, the trailer's been up all morning. Check the link below. We see a lot more Angel. Angel looks freaking cool. I didn't know that he'd have little hooky hooks on his regular wings, though. On the regular, you know, feathered wings. I didn't know he had little hooky hooks there, but I think that makes sense, though. You know, you want to use those. Uh, we see, um, we s um, we saw Blob briefly in there. We see a lot more Nightcrawler, a little bit more Nightcrawler. A lot of stuff we've seen before. I like what they did with Apocalypse's voice. That sounds really cool. Uh, we get to see more Psylocke. We get Psylocke versus Beast, which was awesome, I thought. But the more I see Psylocke's costume, the more I get disappointed with it. Just because I feel like the way it was designed, just it, I feel like it restricts mobility. I feel like the girl can't do an ab crunch. It just seems like she can't bend her waist forward. Of course, we want to see Olivia Munn bend forward. We all know that. But, in all seriousness, for the sake of the action scenes and the fights, I, I, I just feel like she's just restricted in that thing. It looks pretty cool, you know? We get cleavage. Cleavage is never really a Psylocke kind of thing. And trust me, I'm a long, long time Psylocke fan. I've shared this story before, but I, I got a detention for drawing an almost completely nude Psylocke in sixth grade, and all the boys, you know, in class, like, surrounded me, looking at me drawing this hella fine action and everything. So, yeah, I got in trouble for that uh, way back. And I hit on Olivia Munn one time. Yeah. She did not like me, but it's okay. It's all right. I liked her, and Charlita One did not like that story at all. So, you know, now nobody's really happy except for me, and that's all that matters, right? So, anyway, um, she, I, I think she's going to do a really good job playing her. I just feel like the restriction in the mobility, like especially in the earlier trailers when we see her doing those big flips, it feels like she's just stuck like this, and they put her in a wire work and they rotate her around. So seeing her fight Beast... It looked like it could be cool, but it also looked like it's hard for her to move. We also see a lot more Cyclops. I love Cyclops. I'm very happy to see Cyclops. Uh, we get this whole thing with Mystique leading the X-Men, so we get an idea of where the story is going a little bit more with there. We definitely see a lot more blue uh, from Mystique this time around, so I'm happy for that. But like I said, not a whole lot of new stuff. I'm excited for this movie. I, I trust in Brian Singer. Um, and, uh, seeing, uh, the Wolverine Claws at the end. Yay. Yeah, all right. Cool. You know, it's not like I haven't seen that before. Actually, I just watched the, uh, the Wolverine movie, uh, about a week ago or something like that. Just for fun. I really liked that Wolverine movie. I thought it was very good. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are on this trailer. Oh, Magneto looked really badass. We get this great shot of Havoc. Just blow. Oh, man, that was really cool. Uh, I like seeing the destruction. I, I wish... What what was the, what did Apocalypse say? One thing that kind of irritated me just a little bit. And it's a weird thing that it irritated. I found it weird that it irritated me that I didn't like his choice of words when he said something like "the world will crumble." Again, I really like the voice. You know what I mean? It's like the dual pitch thing to make it sound like almost a robot. But like, shouldn't he said something else like "wither" or "evaporate" or something to the effect of what's actually happening around you? Because it looks like everything just like levitates and just like, you know. Phoenix forces into dust kind of thing. You know what I mean? It looks like you see the red paint coming off cars and stuff like that as it flies into the air. So, I don't know. A little weird, little nitpicky thing. I don't know why I go there. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought of the trailer. I liked it. I'm excited for the movie. And I'll catch you guys later. I've got a Giant Man review coming up, so stay tuned for that. Alright, I'll see you then. Peace.